Welcome to today's lesson on pseudocode, and that's pseudo with a silent P. Now, pseudocode is also known as fake code, and it helps us figure out which direction we're going to go with our actual code. Here's an example. Let's say we want to send out an email for a global event. We have to make sure we're sending on the email based on where they live and how old they are. How do we do that and make sure our code runs smoothly? That's where pseudocode comes in. Now, pseudocode allows us to think out things in plain English, but we have to put a hashtag in front of every line so the computer doesn't actually read it as real code. So, let's break down how we're actually going to send out this email. First, we need to ask where they live. We need to ask how old they are. And we need to make sure we're giving specific information. So let's break this down. We're almost treating this like an outline for an essay that you would have to write. So for the ask where they live, we first need to ask the question, so a puts, puts, and save that as a variable. Let's save it as area, and area equals gets dot chunk, storing our answer. Next, how old are they? We do the same thing, puts, how old are you? We save that variable as age, and instead of setting it equal to gets.chomp, we set it equal to gets.chomp dot two underscore i. And the dot two i changes our answer to an integer. It will help us later on in the code. Already two thirds of the way there. Giving specific, specific, put an f after an i, giving specific information based on the information that we got earlier. So this is almost a two part because we're giving information based on a condition, condition null. So first we need our if. So if the person is less than 18 years old, this is where our integer comes in. So if age is less than 18, puts, and this is where our email would go. Luckily, I copied and pasted the email, so you guys don't have to watch me write for five minutes. So I'm gonna just do that. And boom, one part done. Now our else. Else, we also have another email here for them. Now, some of you guys may remember from conditionals that you can put two ifs together. And the reason why we don't put two ifs together in this code is because we it's going to be too many things happening at once. It's like, what if you want people, if we put the other if as in people who are 18 to 100, what if someone who's 102 wants to come? Or what if someone who is 18 years old? That's what we have to put less than or equal to. Else generalizes everything else that wasn't um, focused on or covered in the first if. So we close out our code with an end. Check for anything else. Review our code. And we're all good. Code all written thanks to pseudocode. Thanks for watching.